Hello guys and welcome to another YouTube Lego set review. As you can see here, I've got the Lego Mindstorms EV3 uh, set. This is the new Mindstorms that just came out on September 1st. It's really cool. It's got a lot of new stuff. Um, and so, yeah, let's uh, get started. So pretty much um, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to be, like, I'm going to talk about why you should get this if you have, like, an older version of Mindstorms. Um, actually, I had an older version of Mindstorms. And also um, how to, like, connect your iPod and stuff to this one. Because, as some of you may know, the new Mind Lego Mindstorms has um, connection with iPods. So yeah, that's really cool. And actually, it doesn't just connect with iPod. It connects with Androids, um, iPhones, iPads, all mobile devices. And as usual, it has the um, uh, the like software that you can uh, program with. So yeah, um, I'm gonna show you how to. Uh, connect it with Lego or with your iPod now. As you can see here, I've got my iPod. So pretty much, what I'm going to show you is how to uh, download the Mindstorms Commander app and also how to use it. So first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn on your XT, which may take some time. And uh, right now, I'm actually turning mine on. Um, and then it should have a little light and uh, while you're doing that pretty much you're going to want to um, go to the app store which I'm going to go to here and um, I'm already on it what you're going to want to do is um, go to the search and um, search for Lego Mind uh, store, uh, Lego Mindstorms TV, um, whoops, okay, uh, just Lego Mindstorms, and search, and it comes up with a couple different apps, now, uh, we don't care about most of these, all we really care about is the second one that comes up, which is called, when you, uh, hit it, it'll come up as Lego Mindstorms and it's once you download it the app's called Commander but so pretty much what you're gonna wanna do is up here there will be like a little thing that clicks free or like called free uh... click it then click it again when it says install then like enter your Apple ID and stuff and uh... download the app and um... actually my and uh... my EV3 brick is up so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put Bluetooth on for this. Um, okay, so Bluetooth is enabled on my EV3. Now what I'm going to do is um, go back to the home screen and go to settings. And uh, now you have like a bunch of uh, settings here. Uh, go down here, go to general and um, near the like almost center of the page you can see here I've got Bluetooth click on that make sure it's on then there will be uh, one down here um, I've got this but that doesn't matter uh, you see that this is called EV3 click on it and it should give that and now it says connected that's good you're connected with your EV3 brick now it should come up with this. It says Commander. Commander would like to go or to communicate with the Lego MFI accessory. Hit allow. Now um uh, should be doing this. And uh pretty much so I'm using the tracker right now. So I'm gonna hit that. Hit that and then your NXT will go and pretty much you can like use it so um yeah here I'm gonna show you it in action okay so um pretty much right here I'm just gonna show you some of the controls so um 
There's a bunch of different like add-ons in the front you can do to the uh, EV3 and uh, you can switch between them here and um, right now I'm going to actually be using uh, this it's like blasting bazooka they call it and um, so to move it you use these two and it will take a couple seconds and you kind of really just need to get used to it then um, see these two uh, this one shoots one down and um, I'm going to move a little here. I'm aiming for the book, and I'm going to shoot one up. And uh, that obviously missed. So pretty much this makes it shoot up, and this makes it shoot down. And you can move, and you can go, like, super fast, or you can go, like, super slow. And, uh, yeah, so that's the controls. And, uh, you, like, you can switch between them all the time, but you need to, like, well, you should have the, um, add-on, like, attached to the tracker model. Okay, so, um, here's a little, like, more close-up of it. Um, I'm aiming for the book and, the uh, uh, camera thing. So, I'm gonna try and, uh, shoot the book. So I'm going up close to this one. Um, okay, let's shoot it. Well, that didn't do much. Let's run it over. Hmm. Okay, uh, now I'm going to demonstrate the high shot. So pretty much uh, this is the up arrow button. I'm going to hit it and then see how it goes higher. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to hit this, and this might uh, go. Okay, maybe not. Or, yeah. And also, one thing that I don't like, I mean, this is really the only thing I don't like about the new Mindstorm, is it only comes with three balls for the shooter and all the models. So, um, yeah. That's, um, a lot of the cool stuff that you can do with your iPod and iPhone and, uh, Android with the new EV3. Okay, so here I'm going to show you how to change. This is the shooter like I was showing you. And then this one is called like, um, I don't know exactly what they call it. But it's sort of like it spins around almost in a tornado way. So pretty much I'm going to show you how to change it. First off, you need to get the old one off. So what you do is you wiggle it off and then it's just this sort of and now I want to put this one on so you need to get it in the right place and it just slides right on there so yeah that's cool okay I'm gonna show you um I this is with the new add-on I'm gonna actually attack my cat not like hurt him or anything but just to show you so yeah um Pretty much, this is how it goes, like spinning. Then you can stop it with the red button in the middle, and you can go the other way. And obviously, my cat is a little dumb where he's not running away. Want to run? Okay, there. So, um, yeah, that's kind of. You can stop it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, now I'm going to tell you, like, why you should get Mindstorms EV3 if you have a different Mindstorms. Pretty much, I actually had a different Mindstorms, and the reason I got the new one is because it was a present, but also because um, I think it's really cool. The new iPod connection is cool that it, like, wasn't on a different one. And um, now, like, they've got, um, I'm pretty sure they have new... Uh, they have like new motors and stuff so that's cool and also it's like easier they've got new builds which is really cool and um... yeah they've got a lot of really new stuff for the Mindstorms EV3 and the nice thing is it only comes out like every four or five years so it's nice that they came out now so uh... yeah thanks guys for watching and please subscribe